welcome to another edition of Simply Stated, which is probably one of the quieter episodes because I'm filming inside today. And I hope you all are doing well. This one may be a little bit longer. I had some time to put together material, but I wanted to kind of address the recent events with Biden and Trump. As you're noticing, Congress, as far as Republican and Democratic parties, are going back and forth a lot and going more towards... <clears throat> You know, the Republicans are naturally trying to defend Trump or not defend Trump. That's being made an issue of in the media. And then there's also been an issue with the Democratic Party wanting to protect and defend Biden and his family based on party lines. This is a fallacy I'm going to warn both parties against falling into at this point. Because the issue here is that you have the man that I gave the alias to, Kendrick, and then Buffalo Bill, who run their fake friend agency out of Hollywood. We're supposed to be a Hollywood agency full of Russian and Iranian assets, the Chinese CCP that have, as I explained in great detail, the Fraud Project, as you know, set up projects so that their assets could continue to work all around the U.S., around the world, and frankly steal from people and have subjugated U.S. citizens to slavery, stolen material, copyrights, you know, Taylor Swift performs with lip sync, um, you know, really can't play any instruments at all, everything's just electronics. She was a girl that I knew back in Wisconsin and was put through at the benefit of the state of Wisconsin and to the age of... Um, 18 and graduated high school and remedial courses and given multiple opportunities to reform herself and chose not to and actually won her tryout to be a Russian asset and work for the FSB at the time called the KGB out of Russia because it's her state while I'm living in Janesville at the time. So you need to understand all of that. And it's important to understand that Buffalo Bill and Kendrick, you know, Kendrick specifically gave money to the Biden, set them up with the Burisma situation, and also has basically had some kind of bizarre contractual relationship with Donald Trump and subjugated him as well and threatened his family. So you're looking at two men that have been president essentially being manipulated and violated by Buffalo Bill, the two men I gave their names to. I've given these government their actual names. They know their companies. They know the name of the fake front Hollywood agency, and it really is time to arrest both of them or even just simply remove them from the U.S. I know our military is really busy abroad, but there has to be some, some kind of consideration we're using them to actually depose, dispose of these people here in the U.S. Because there's no reason for any of them to be free. And there's really no reason for me to even be worrying about these things still at this point. I'm 43 years old. If you're still confused about the situation, think about it this way. I didn't get to go to medical school because of all this drama. I didn't get to go to nursing school because of it. I had to deal with some really nasty Iranian and Russian assets getting in my face and saying, we're going to ruin nursing school for you too, haha, ha, because they don't want us to have actual competent healthcare employees. I have back injuries today, so I probably will not be able to pursue nursing. Thanks to these stupid people. That is directly tied to Kendrick and Buffalo Bill. So what Congress actually needs to do, don't fall for the trap of trying to overly defend either one of these men and fighting with the other party. What you gotta do is you gotta get together. Stand waiting in Mayorkas. Teach Mayorkas, same thing. But what you actually need to do is go after Booz Allen Hamilton, the company because they've been proven as a company that protects Chinese and Russian assets. They're down to 10 million for the budget, but it's all been hatched contracts. It's been all for time and testified on by a number of people and they actually do have to be shut down entirely. That would be the end result of all this, basically. That's what's blocking people from being able to do something about Kendrick and Buffalo Bill. That would be who would actually be protecting. And I'm just saying that because it's kind of important for people to recognize that that company, Booz Allen Hamilton, really has to be entirely shut down. They really have to go. There's no reason for a military organization that supports the CCP, which is what it is, and the FSB out of Russia and Iran to be active in the U.S. There's just no reason anymore. And I wanted to also add that it's important to note that, you know, when I talked to Buffalo Bill years ago and Kendrick also screamed at me and said that, you know, they stole my money from medical school, they stole countless amounts of work from me and tortured and beat me for years, even when I was living in the D.C. area, and their excuse for all of it was that Beyonce was a stupid whore because Buffalo Bill worked for her and that she was Russian and that's why he took care of her. And I said, so basically you only work for and develop Russian whores, which is what you think Beyonce is. He actually said that to me. And he finally agreed and said, yeah, that was it. And he wasn't saying it to be offensive. There really are misogynistic, nasty men in Russia, and especially China, CCP, and Iran, and they don't like women, and even the women from other countries, and from their own ethnic groups. And they have no problems talking down about them, but they have especially no problem abusing women from other countries. And they have no problem coming to the U.S. and abusing women here, 
four men, U.S. citizens, and trying to keep them as slaves and labor trafficking them. And so that's why I'm pointing this all out today because you don't, I don't want Congress or anyone else to lose sight of what needs to happen. Because I feel like there's a point here where people could really lose sight of the end goal, which is actually to shut down the crazy Hollywood agency that's a Russian front group, shut down these fake performers here in the U.S. that are collecting intel, shut down Booz Allen Hamilton. That's what actually needs to be done for national security and for the U.S. economy and frankly probably so that a whole bunch of other countries can stop being worried all the time and having to come over here and try to figure out what's going on. Because we create a lot of headaches by not tackling those problems head on for the English and Australia and some of our other partners because we have a whole bunch of other people that you know just want us to get it get it right and so that's what i'm going to say for this session of simply stated have a good one thank you